For this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a truth table for a disjunction, which is an OR statement in logic. An OR statement would be two statements like the sky is blue or elephants are purple. Your statements can be any kind of statements that you can assign a true or a false value to. Um, and when you assign that true or false to it, that is known as a truth value. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the variables a and b represent any two statements. So these could be any statements that you have uh, on any topic. And we're going to create a truth table that demonstrates the statement a or b. So this right here is always read as a or Okay, so when you start your truth table and you have two statements, what you're always going to do is start with the two variables that you are given. So in this case, we are given a, b. You could be given variables like p, q, r, s. It doesn't really matter what you are given. So what you are going to do is you're going to start with the possible combinations that you can get with assigning truth values. So my first statement can be true, and then my second statement could also be true. My first statement could be true while my second statement is false. My first statement could be false while my second statement is true. And then the last one is both of the statements are false. So these are all of the combinations that can happen with the two statements. Both of them are true. The first is true while the second one is false. The first one is false while the second is true or they are both false statements. So once you've established the first part, which is always um, the most important, you always want to set it up the same way, then you're going to do your A or B column. Okay. In order for this to be true, it's true if either statement is true or both statements is true. Okay, so we will assign a value of true if one or the other or both is true. So on the first one, since we have true and true, we would assign true since they are both true. The next one would also be true since the first statement is true, even though the second statement is false since it's or, it's one or the other or both. The next one, false and true, so I'm just looking at these as a combination, false and true, I would also assign the value of true. And then your last one is the only place that or is false. If they are both false statements, then the first statement or the second statement put together collectively, neither one is going to be true, so we would assign a false value. I will do some videos that go into more detail where you have more complicated situations, but for this video, I wanted to show what a disjunction looks like, and it will always be this way no matter how complicated of the things that you are comparing. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.